In this training video, we're going to copy data from Excel to create the chart in PowerPoint. So to create a chart in PowerPoint, I can either go through a slide which has content in it. So title and content. So for example, if I change the layout, I can pick a chart from the middle of the slide here. Or if I decide to pick a, a slide which doesn't have content, which I did originally, which was title only, I can go to the insert tab. So I'm going to go to the insert tab and I'm going to choose a chart. In this example, I'm going to use a combo chart. So it tells me the kind of information I've got here and it's going to give me a standard chart using PowerPoint. So I'll click OK. So PowerPoint gives me a combo chart. Now in, in PowerPoint, the chart is controlled through what's called chart in Microsoft PowerPoint. So that's the data that I need to control the chart with. Well, I've already got Excel open and I'm going to copy A1 to D5 straight into the PowerPoint chart data area. So I'm going to copy. And I'm going to copy the right click method. So I'm going to click in cell A1, which is the blank cell at the top here. I'm going to right click and I'm now going to paste straight into that area there. Now I've got the information in there. I click OK to that message. So there's the chart that's already been created from the data I've just copied in. Now it's got all the headings. It's got two of the elements, but it hasn't got the percentage of total sales. If this ever happens, if you've got more than two elements, so it's the one element is sales, the one element is expenditure, I can now control that from within PowerPoint. So from within PowerPoint, I'm going to click on the Format tab under Chart Tools. I'm going to go to the Current Selection area and choose what's called. So this gives you all your elements of a chart. I'm going to choose the one that's missing, Series Percentage of Total Sales. A little dot comes up. I can then format this to bring in a new series for a secondary, as a secondary chart, which is what I wanted for a combo chart. So I'm going to click on Format Selection and Secondary Axis. And now I've got a chart in PowerPoint with the way I want it to look from Excel data. So I can close the data down now in PowerPoint. And now all the data that I had in the in Excel and the data I wanted has now been copied straight through to PowerPoint. So this is how you can link data in Excel and copy it to PowerPoint to produce a chart in PowerPoint. So there's a chart produced in Power in PowerPoint from Excel data. So this is the way you can work with your Excel data to produce charts in PowerPoint if required. This completes the training video of creating charts in PowerPoint using Excel data. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.